Well, the maps keep coming and they don't stop 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 coming and they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming. It continues to amaze me how many bad maps you guys managed to find and submit to me. Like, I didn't think we'd get past five of these videos, let alone ten, but here we are at episode 11. So let's get started. First, we have a map submitted by Neil, and it's apparently a poster for some sort of competition. We can already see sloppy borders, a few random areas being annexed by their neighbors, and of course, several missing islands in the Mediterranean and Baltic seas. 7 out of 10. Next, from Björnar, we have a map of, well, I guess it's supposed to be Europe right after the start of World War II, but the problem is it shows the Soviet Union controlling the Baltic states, which they wouldn't take until the year after they invaded Poland. It also shows sloppy modern borders in most places, but that's not as distracting as the fact that the borders appear to be more rivers than actual borders. It's the same color and texture of the water, and that bothers me a lot more than I thought it would in theory. Also, this bitten off of Chunk of Romania is, is weird. I, I don't like that either. 4 out of 10. Actually, sorry, 3 out of 10. The river border thing really bugs me. From Matumbo, we have a map of North America that mislabeled the U.S. state of Virginia as Kentucky. Now, with these types of maps, I have a conundrum where the map is mostly fine, but the information in focus being presented is just 100% wrong. Like, I guess I could just split the difference and give it a 5 out of 10, but that seems both simultaneously too harsh and too lenient. I think this calls for a new rating for these type of situations. I'm gonna give this map a pathetic out of 10. Next, from G, we have a map showing a spread of influences in martial arts styles, which I will say is a unique map idea, I've never seen that before. That being said, though, good god is this map atrocious. There are lots of missing borders and coastal spots for one thing, and then you also have a few weird mistakes like the labeling of Arabia as Greece, misspelling Laos, and then just deciding to give Iran borders it hadn't quite seen since Cyrus the Great. It's just not a good map, 4 out of 10. We've got several more maps to go, but I want to go ahead and take this moment to talk about this video sponsor, Ridge Wallet. Father's Day will be here before you know it, and you're probably looking for a nice gift for him. Well, you should get a Ridge Wallet. Not only do their wallets have a cool, simple metal design that can keep all of his cards and cash nice and compact, but it also has many designs to choose from. I know I've enjoyed my Ridge Wallet for quite a while at this point. If anything, the design's enticing enough, but to celebrate Father's Day, Ridge's website is having a special sale, but it'll end soon, so you should get a wallet as soon as possible. Heck, get a wallet for yourself too. Use the code EMPEROR with the link below to get 15% off your order. Thanks again to Rage for sponsoring this video. For our next map, we have one sent in by Max, and it's from a railway website showing Spain. While it's obviously meant to show Spain by itself, the addition of the watermarks does hilariously make it look like Portugal sank into the ocean. Watermarks? I guess it's not a watermark, I guess, but the squiggly water, you know what I mean. The Balearic Islands and Canary Islands are also off. But it's harmless enough that I could honestly just give this a very passable score of just 8 out of 10. Then from Samuel, we have quite a doozy here. The first thing you've probably noticed is New England has exploded both in the sense of being detached and in the sense of enlarging its size. And don't get me started on how ugly and inaccurate the Canadian provinces look. It's so ugly it caused Vancouver Island to be annexed into Washington State, apparently. Speaking of Washington, for some reason they represented Washington, D.C. as this giant capital building shape, which for people who don't know what that building is can be very deceiving, especially when you've increased the sizes of the smaller New England states as well. This one's awful, I gotta give it a 1 out of 10. From Miranda, we have a map that according to them is from Overland Adventures. No idea what that is. But what I do know is that Bangladesh and Thailand have apparently sank into the ocean on this one. Also, Africa has weirdly shriveled in size, which is a bit distracting. Meanwhile, Serbia is labeled in Croatia, and the UK is labeled as London, which of course is not in the spot London is at anyway. Also, why is India the only country where subdivisions are being shown? That's weird. Also, good god, there are just so many weird spots the more I look at it. 3 out of 10. Finally, from Omer, we've got a map of- Ah! Oh my god, what is wrong with this map? 
What happened to Italy and Germany? One would think that they sank into the ocean, but then you realize that there are borders there. So perhaps they just annexed parts of the sea instead? Either way, I have no idea how anyone missed something so drastic like that. Also, this legend, this key, is entirely wrong. No one is apparently a part of the Central Powers, based on this, and Germany was apparently a neutral power during World War I. Again, how could anyone miss that? Switzerland is labeling North Africa and made into an allied power. Bulgaria is also made into an allied power that owns Constantinople. Belgium and Netherlands aren't separated. But hey, at least Scotland is separated from the UK finally with Hadrian's Canal over there. This one has got to win the coveted nope out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, be sure to like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. But if you want to support this channel, I do also have a Patreon. Every bit is greatly appreciated. I'm Emperor Tigerstar, and I'll see you guys next time.